Now we're on the subject of giving and receiving, and very specifically as on this subject today, I'm going to be talking about what you purpose in your heart. So stay tuned. I'm on the subject of giving and receiving, even as I am, the 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, it says, Let each uh, one give as he has made up his own mind and purpose in his heart. Now, it's very important that when it comes to this area of resources and finances, when it comes to the area of sowing and reaping, and the concept of verse 6 of sowing sparingly, reaping sparingly, sow, uh, sowing bountifully, reaping bountifully, that you have the understanding of God's word established within your heart for yourself. That you don't just interpret my words as something you're supposed to do because I'm saying something. In other words, you shouldn't ever feel pressure when a minister talks about money. You shouldn't feel like, oh, I'm supposed to do something and I have to do something. That is the wrong motive of the heart to give. That does not please God when you give that way because you're giving an unbelief. You're, in your heart, is you've got lack established within your heart and you don't have understanding. And if you give out of lack, out of fear of this expectation of bad, well, that's very de detrimental and it doesn't please the Father for you to give that way because you see, you're not giving in joy. You're not giving out of a heart that you're giving because you want to. No, you're giving because you feel like you have to. Now, that's the wrong reason, wrong motive. And this point today I'm talking about is to let each one give as he's made up his own mind and purposed within his heart. Now, this is talking about a process because if you're going to purpose within your heart, then you're going to go through the process of making up your mind to the place that you in fact, let me just say it this way. You need to experience the Holy Spirit as your teacher when it comes to the Word of God. You need the Word of God to come alive on the inside to the point that you have revelation truth be made known to you. As Ephesians 1.18 says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You need the knowledge, the information of the Word of God to become an understanding for the benefit of your heart so that you see you can purpose in your heart because you see it for yourself, not because someone else says so. You know, in Acts chapter 11, verse 23, the scripture there talks about that they chose to abide with the Lord because they purposed in their heart to do so. This word to purpose in your heart in Acts 11, 23 means it was already in their heart. They didn't have to take time to put something on the inside. No, they made a decision out of what was already on the inside of them. So it's not the same as Second Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 7. It's not the same because you see here it's talking about and purposed in his heart. In other words, go through the process of making up your mind to the point that you purpose in your heart. You see, it's faith from your heart heart and faith is the ability for your heart to trust God, have confidence in him, and you can't operate on someone else's faith when you're the farmer. When you're the one putting the seed in the ground, it's your seed. It's not someone else's seed. And if you're going to put it in soil, then you have to, with understanding of heart, know exactly what you're doing. You can't just throw seed anywhere and everywhere and let it land anywhere and everywhere. A farmer knows exactly what he's doing. He's putting it deep within the soil to the right depth, knowing exactly that when he puts the seed in the soil, that there's going to be growth, and in time, a harvest is going to come forth. He knows exactly what he's doing. So you need to determine that when you put the seed of this on the ground, and we're talking about your resources, we're talking about when you put the seed in the soil, then you can't see it anymore. It's like it's leaving your life. But if that's your concept that you don't have something anymore and you're in lack, then you haven't gone through the process of making your mind to the point that you're purposing your heart. There's still unbelief in your heart. Unbelief is simply a human perspective. It's how you look at something from how humans look at something. In order to have God's perspective in this area, you need to experience the Holy Spirit as your teacher. He'll help you if you let him. So believe for him to be your teacher to the point that you know exactly what you're doing and you're not putting seed in the soil because you have to. You're doing it because you know what you're doing. With purpose of heart, you're putting a seed because you know the return. And so if you do that with understanding of heart, then there's an expectation of good on the inside. You're looking for good. You don't just believe that good might come. No, you're looking for good because good belongs to you because of Jesus Christ. For those that are being blessed by the content of this message, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button.